strict regulation and restricting access. Make sure that we keep cannabis out of the hands of kids. We will be moving with, uh, with very strong measures. Justin Trudeau may have won votes from some of these folks by promising to make pot legal. But his government's message right now is all about convincing Canadians it will be done safely and responsibly. CBC News and Radio Canada have learned more about the government's plans. Individuals will be allowed to possess up to 30 grams of marijuana at a time. That fits with the recommendation made by the government's cannabis task force. There will be new, stricter penalties introduced for selling marijuana to minors and for driving under the influence of pot, both of which were Liberal election promises. Also on driving, we can expect the government to approve the use of roadside saliva tests to detect drug use. There will be money for public awareness campaigns and limits on how marijuana products can be marketed, more like tobacco than alcohol. Cracking down on pot-impaired driving has been a particular concern, with warnings from other jurisdictions that have legalized. Uh, we are seeing that more often in fatal crashes, uh, the, the driver, uh, at least one of the drivers, uh, has THC still in their system. Uh, that doesn't mean it caused the crash, but, but it's certainly a statistic that's going to be worth watching uh, and worth public education campaigns. The federal government has already been piloting some roadside saliva tests and promises a solution. That's a commitment that we made at the very outset, uh, and you can expect very robust provisions. How old you have to be to use will also be hotly debated. CBC News has already reported the age will be 18, but that the provinces will be allowed to set it higher. My colleagues and I had hoped that the age could be, uh, the legal age for using marijuana could be as high as 25. That's because the brain is still developing until then. We also know that since psychotic illnesses do tend to begin in this period as well, that we feel that would be uh, that would be exposing young people to yet another risk. There is so much to debate when you're ending the prohibition of a drug for the very first time, and the Liberals hope to have this plan in place before Canada Day 2018. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.